What do you call a potato wearing glasses? A spectator. What do you call a penis mixed with a potato? A dictator. What do you call it when you mix Star Wars with a potato? Darth Tater! You're watching Hunter Space Live. We're running out of ideas. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody, it's February 25th. It's Wednesday. Mr. Potato Head and I here, Darth Tater, have been trying to come up with runners' names. It could possibly be potato names. Um, we found one woman, well, I should say Darth, found her very attractive. Um, Dina Castator. Awkward video of the week. Tater, how dare you hit me with your light, Tater, son? Sorry, you had to see that. <laughs> this is the... Uh, Runner, Runner Space, space Rundown. Down. Uh, here we go. All right, you small fries, it's the high school rundown. This last weekend at the Rhode Island Indoor State meet Andrew Springer. Quadrupled running a 232,000. A U.S. number one, 358 in the 1500, 833, 3K. And topped it all off with a 159 leg of the 4x8 relay. It's not bad for doing it all in a day. Another kid racking up multiple victories was Kyle McIntosh, who won the 60 meter hurdles, the 400 meter dash, and the 4x4 relay at the Simplot Games in Idaho. The land of potatoes. The action there was tater tot hot. Also at that meet, Ciara Brewer jumped a sophomore class record, 41-6 in the triple jump, while Anna jumped in, in her first indoor meet ever, threw a U.S. number 151.5 in the shot put. Also, Newburn High School of North Carolina ran a very impressive 326 U.S. number one sprint medley relay. In Massachusetts at their divisional meet, Emily Jones ran a U.S. number one 1032 two mile. In Kentucky, Tavares Tate ran a U.S. number one 4706 400 and a U.S. number two 21 41 200. Woo, he's fast. At the Pennsylvania indoor state meet, Tom Milan ran a U.S. number one 151 800, and then was like, Psh, I guess I'll just help my high school Central Bucks South run the U.S. number two 749 4 by 800. Ain't no thing. That's like probably what he said. And last but not least, it would be a tragedy not to mention Mr. Dwandre Barnaby, who set three state meet records at the Connecticut Indoor Championships this last weekend. He ran 120.29 in the 600, a U.S. number three 34 1 in the 300, and anchored Weaver High School to a state meet record 325 in the 4 by 4. It's the College Pro Rundown. Herman Fernandez stand out freshman from Oklahoma State University may skip NCAA indoors in order to run the World Junior Cross Country Championships in Amon Jordan in late March. But don't worry, he's still like for sure helping the team at the Big 12 Championships. Oh, Herman, you're so dreamy. At the UK Indoor Grand Prix, Mo Farah ran a blazing fast 734, 3,000 meter dash, cutting six seconds off his national record. Vivian Chea ran a Kenyan national record 830 in the 3K. Woo, she's a quick chick. In the 1500, Augustine Chogi ran 338 to just beat out Bernard Lagat by 17 hundredths of a second. Ooh, so close. That was Bernard Lagat's first loss of 2009. Usain Bolt ran an early season 45 5 4, 400 this last week. Check out full video of that right here at Runnerspace.com. There were some unexpected winners at the Ethiopian Cross Country Championships this last week. 20 year old Wood Ayalu beat out Gillette Burka, who got third. In the men's race, absent of Kenanisa Bekele and Seleshi Shaheen, was won by Gebre Ziaber, Gebre Meriam, who still beat out Tariku Bekele, Kenanisa's brother, and Tadese Tola. At the Kenyan XC Championships, husband and wife Moses Mosop and Francis Kiplagat. Both were champions. Oh, that's cute. They probably are, or already have, had fast babies. Oh, and it's worth repeating, if you haven't heard yet, Meseret Defar, like, ran 14.24 in the 5K and set a world record. That's it. Holy potatoes, it's the road racing rundown. The biggest news on the streets. This last weekend was the RAK Half Marathon in the United Arab Emirates. Emirates. I can't talk. The race was won by Patrick Macau of Kenya, who ran a personal best 58.52. And won $28,000. And while Macau fell short of Samuel Wanjaro's world record of 58.33, in which he would have gotten a $100,000 bonus for, he did cross the 20K mark in 55.38, 10 seconds faster than Haley Gabriel Selassie's world record set in Phoenix, Arizona, making this race even more interesting. Third place finisher Derive Murga, who took out the race blazing fast, crossed the 15K mark in a world record tying 41.29 before he was passed by Macau. I guess what I'm trying to get at here is that it was a fast race. Five guys were under 60 minutes. The lady side was blazing 
Amazing Fast 2 with four women under 68, won by D. Red Tune of Ethiopia, who ran 67.18. A new course record. The Armaro race in Ireland was won by the U.S.'s David Nightingale, who ran the 5K in 13.54. The Seville Marathon in Spain was won by Abebe Dogaga Hailu. Hailu, rather, in a time of 2.10.31. A personal best in course record. In Japan, Yu Mitsuya cranked off a 129.55 30K. Oh, you. Fast runner, you. And last but not least, the Polar Bear Run was good times in Connecticut this last weekend. Won by 39-year-old Joseph Acom of New York. He won the 7.6 mile race at a time of 40-49. In the 32 degree rain slash snow. I said burr. It's cold out here. There must be some potatoes in this atmosphere. I'm kind of hungry. Ow, Mr. Potato Head, you hit me again. Yo, oh, that's it. Matt. What? Run my vlog! Sign out! See you, Tater!